guys! Two videos in one day. Get off of me. Uh, so... I filmed my last video talking about all these books, and then... Well, now it's uploading, and I have absolutely nothing to do. Uh... I... Want to talk... Uh, this is... This is the second cat. Oh, look! Oh, those are bright babies. This is Circle. Um, so, I want to do another video today, and I'm thinking I want to do my Lord of the Rings shelf, or my Lord of the Rings books. It's, it almost takes up the whole shelf. Hmm. Well, you're loving this, aren't you? So, I think I'm going to do that. Can I put you down? Can I? Will you go down? Oh, there you go. Okay. Oops. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Okie dokie. How, how am I gonna do this? Um, you guys have already seen my books that I won, so let's just take those off of the shelf for now because you've seen them. Unless you haven't, well then you got a quick peekaboo peek peek at them. Okay, so I'm gonna go... I don't know where to start. Where do you start? Okay, let's start with the biggest book. I have A Tolkien Bestiary by David Day. This basically talks about everything that goes. There's a... It's a, it's a, it's a wordy book. Has really pretty illustrations though, and it talks about all the beasts. It, obviously, it's a bestiary. And it talks about all of that. Um, I, don't, I don't, what am I doing? So, book one. Ugh, why are you sticking out at me? <gasps> Next, this. I don't want to say this is my favorite, but this might actually be my favorite book in my Tolkien collection <gasps> because it is most of the, no, I'll tell you this is by J.R.R. Tolkien it has an introduction by Christopher Tolkien obviously and it's been edited by him but this is the Cimmerillion and is <laughs> and it is the illustrated edition and it's by Ted Ted Namasmith and I have to show you a picture in here because Oh, they're they're beautiful and it's amazing and this book I'll show you show you this because this alone sold me on it and it's a map that they have in the Cimmerillion and it's it's colorful problems we've discussed this so there is the Cimmerillion Illustrated Edition. It's, it's huge. Next up is, this is my copy of the Cimmerillion. Um, I got this copy specifically. There's no cover on it because my brother has this exact same copy and he doesn't have the cover on it and this it's just, it makes me think of my brother. So that's why I never, I had to get like the same one that he had and I had to take the cover off. Actually, I don't know if I bought this one with the cover because I don't have it anymore, but there's this and there's actually a map in here and it's this one. That one is actually my brother's when I sent him his book because he is stationed in Japan. I I forgot to put the map in there. He'll he'll probably figure it out and he'll be like, "Where's my map?" and I'll I, I don't know. You snooze, you lose there, brother. Um, next I have The Book of Lost Tales Part 2. Why did I not grab? Um, this is part of the History of Middle Earth series, and this is by Christopher Tolkien, which is J.R.R. Tolkien's son. So this is part two. Um, this is hardcover, which surprisingly, it was really hard for me to find a hardcover, so I'll just keep that there because... I have The Book of Lost Tales Part 1 by J.R.L. Tolkien. Um, this is part of 
Okay, when they say it's by J.R.R. Tolkien, just in case you're not a Tolkien person, what it means is these were not printed when he was alive, but he wrote the content, and Christopher Tolkien, which is his son, put the books together. So here's book one, here's book two. The reason book two was first is book two is taller than book one. Hmm. Next, I have the hardcover edition of The Children of Hy Hyrulean. Hyrulean? I know how to say Tolkien words. I swear, I'm just... Today is not my day. Um, so I have this in hardcover, and obviously it's edited by Christopher Tolkien. <sighs> Don't you want to see my books? Um, next, I have <laughs> two more of uh, Books of Lost Tales, part one and part two. Again, these are not the same size. What are they doing to me? These are paperback by J.R.L. Tolkien, edited by Christopher Tolkien. These are the History of Middle-Earth series. Woo! I was, I was going to send them to my best friend, but they're Tolkien books, and I, I love her, but I love Tolkien more. <laughs> Next, I have... This is also part... This is the History of Lord of the Rings. These are all... This is the History of Middle-Earth series. This is the history of the Lord of the Rings. I have part one, which is The Return of the Shadow by J.R.L. Tolkien. Again, this is comprised by Christopher Tolkien. And then I have part three, The War of the Ring. Again, by J.R.L. Tolkien, comprised by Christopher Tolkien. This is part three of it, like I said. Tolkien, Tolkien, Tolkien. Someone texted me. Uh, next, I have my brother's copies, and these are the first copies I read of the Tolkien series. We have the, the Hobbit, and this one was actually destroyed by me in middle school. Oops. And then I have one, two, and three of the Lord of the Rings. These are, this was a box set. My brother took everything out of box sets, so here's the Hobbit. The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and of course, The Return of the King. Next, I have a series that I just, it's another box series. They're the movie tie-in editions. Um, Tolkien is the only author that I just buy, like, I don't care. I don't care. I need everything. So, I have... This edition, this was a box box set. Um, you can tell that it has fancy, fancy picture on the top. <laughs> the first book, of course, is The Fellowship of the Ring, and it has Frodo on front. The second book is The Two Towers, and it has Sauron on the Sauron Sauron on the front. And last but definitely not least. We have The Return of the King with Sexy Aragon on the front. Next, I have A Guide to Tolkien. This is also by David Day. Um, it's just basically a small book that talks about hobbits and... Here, I can just... Hob... <laughs> Gundor. And it just talks about everything that's in Tolkien. Next, I have just a silly book that I found at my Half Price book. Someone keeps texting me. And that is the Unofficial Middle Earth Monster Guides. Monster's Guide. Hunt hobbits, hoard treasures, and embrace your villainous nature, nature by the Mordor Collective. Um, it was just a silly book. I think it was like two bucks. I couldn't pass it up because it, it was cute. So I picked this up, and it it's just a humor book. It's not really anything Tolkien, Tolkien-y. Next, I have, and this is a book that I devoured in one sitting just because it talked about The Hobbit, and that is Exploring J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit by Corey Olson. This is such a great book. It's so pretty. I just... I like pretty books. It sits pretty, too. Um, basically, he goes through The Hobbit and, you know, break, breaks it down. 
not spark notes breaks it down and intellect break it down next i have the J.R. Tolkien Miscellany talks about J.R. Tolkien. And this is by Robert S. Flackham. Um, it was just a cute little thing to talk about Tolkien. And it was a really quick read for me. It was interesting because it talks about his life. And that was really interesting to me. Next, I have my leather set of The Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings books. And it's such a pretty leather set. I have not read my leather set just because it was more decorative for me. And I understand people read them and I'm not saying they're... But that's a little small for me. Um, I might read them eventually. Like if I go on a trip and I don't have that much room. That's a lie. I don't want these getting destroyed. So I have this, and just because this is my Tolkien shelf, and this might be the only time I actually talk just Tolkien, I have the special extended edition of The Fellowship of the Ring and The Two Towers. I have not been able to find Return of the King just because I don't want to order it online and pay so much. Eventually, I do want to get... The Hobbit Special Extended Editions. It'll happen eventually. Just not not today. Not not right now. When I have a lot of other books. If I happen to find it cheap somewhere, I'll pick it up. But as for right now, I'm not going to go out and just buy it. And then, of course, no collection is complete without the One Rain. Um, so those are my Tolkien books. Uh, just really quick, I'll go over what I won in that giveaway, and that is a copy of The Cimmerillion, The Two Towers, The Fellowship of the Ring. Yes, this is a copy I have, but this is its own sec by itself. The, Re ah! the Return of the King, which is part of another collection that eventually I want to get. And then I got a very, very awesome... Mary and Pippin bookmark, and I love Mary and Pippin. They're my favorite hobbits, so this was awesome to get. All right, guys. Well, I think that's all of my Tolkien. I'm pretty sure that's all my Tolkien books. I don't really disperse those everywhere, so. All right. Well, I will leave links to follow me around the interweb down below. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll probably upload another video tonight because I want to. What is wrong with me? Like a bazillion things today because all I want to do is shoot videos today. Apparently, okay, that's not, that's not working for me. Stop, Britta, just stop. Okay. Bye, guys.